Well hello, how are you doing? It's Dave here. Jill's behind the camera for the minute because we're doing something a little bit special. This is a little bit special. We've just bought this because we like cooking outdoors and it is the Camping Gaz 400 SG. It's a dual burner hob that has two grills as well. Let's get it opened up and then you can see what we're talking about. If I can find out how to open it. So, ta-da! This is the uh, the box and in the box you get some bits of paper, some polystyrene which we don't need, the unit itself which I shall just put to one side for the moment, some feet and rubbish. Right, let's get rid of the box because we don't need that. It can go down there feet can be that and this is what comes in the bag quick gander around it on the outside the feet are obviously meant to fit in here somehow so let's see if I can do that one trusty drill later so let's uh, get these feet on. You'll not want to see this in all its take for every time. And that's it, that's the feet on. So now I can give you a little bit more show around. At the back here is where your gas hose goes on. This is for, uh, I assume, hold your gas holes. And then you've got the hinges such that when you open it up, let's get rid of all of this packaging, of which there's lots. And in here, take that out, take that out, take that out. So as you can see, there's two burners, but in this little package here is the Accelerate um, pan holder. Now you'll see that there's, get that out of the way, you'll see that there's two little tongues here they fit into the little and there you set up for pan work frying whatever it is you want to say and then with this you put water in this bit not too much put the top on i would imagine you put the water in when it's like that so you know it's not going to spill put your top on and what you have is a grill. That's how it works. That's how easy it is to go. So the next thing I'm going to need to do is connect some gas up to it, do the necessary with that, and then we can uh, give it a go and show you what's going on. Be back in a bit. Right, I have spent, oh I don't know, 15, 20 minutes bringing a five kilogram cylinder in with very little gas left in. So the hoses is connect up. What? All right, I've brought a six kilogram in, uh, bottle in. It, that's not how it's gonna work. It's gonna work, actually, I'll put the connector on to do it off the van. That'll be a different video probably, because look, look people, bloods, hurties, yes. Clutch man, I'm not allowed tools without supervision. However, how does it work? Well, this is the ignite button. This is the temperature button, if you like, the gas button. Push in, hold down, and bingo, it's away. So what I'm gonna do, stick a pan of water on. It's as easy as that. I'm not gonna do anything with the grill at the minute because one, I'm not hungry unusual I know two 
I haven't got anything suitable for going on there other than steak and I'm not hungry for steak. That'll be, you'll see it in other videos that we do when we're out and about and around the place. So the water is now starting to boil. I can even see little bubbles on the bottom. So I'll let that boil and we'll come back to you in a minute. It's been two and a bit minutes since the pan went on. I didn't think you would want to watch water boil. It's a bit like watching paint dry, only not quite as exciting. And it is now at a simmer, would you believe? I don't know, well, you, you should be able to see the steam coming off it. I'm hoping, if, if not, it's at the boil. It's now at the boil. Um, I don't know how to show you, but it's definitely at the boil, right. So I'm gonna knock that off. And now I'm going to make myself a coffee. Well, there you go. I've made a cup of coffee and uh, I'm really, really quite impressed. Took less than two minutes to boil. Can you believe that? Well, no, it wasn't. Less than two and a half minutes to boil that size mug. To give you some idea, there's my head. That's the size we're looking at. And yes, trust me when I tell you that being this grumpy is exhausting. There's still water left in the pan. That was done in two and a half minutes. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would take a lot longer and it didn't. And the coffee tastes nice. Even if there are no sweeteners in it, but never mind, it's good. Um, we paid 75 pounds plus a bit of postage and packaging for the 400 sg itself um, if you shop around you can get really good prices on and when they've got sales on things are an awful lot cheaper as is always the case the um not moderator what's the word the thing that goes onto the gas bottle to sort it all out and the hose I got from Amazon for I think it was about eight quid. That seems to be doing the job. The hardest part, quite honestly, the hardest part of it all is getting the rubber hose onto the doodars. A little bit of washing up liquid helps there. Um, I'm really quite impressed. I I've seen these on, sales on sale at anywhere between 75 quid, which was the price we paid plus the postage and packaging, there was no free delivery. Um, to 89 quid to 104 quid. And there's other models than this one, but this one I think is gonna do the job for us for what we want because you can toast on that if you want, toast on the grill. And no, I'm not gonna do that either because I don't want any toast. Although when I do do the steak on it, you'll be the first to know. So there you go, um, that's what it is. That's going to go with us everywhere we go. One of the things I am gonna do is cut the hose and get some, um, like a bayonet connector that's the same as the one on the outside of the van, uh, a little coupler so that I can just couple the bottle up if we need to and put it onto the van uh, when we want to. So that we've got best of both worlds so that if by some unfortunate circumstance, we run out of gas in the van, we can go and buy a six kilogram bottle um, and connect that up so we've at least got cookage with us. Um, there you go. That's the latest buy for Vandromeda and Vandromeda's travels. I'm sorry Jill's not in front of the camera, but she's being a cameraman today and doing exceptionally well at it, I think. I trust you will give her a big round of applause for the work that she's done. Thank you very much, my darling. I love you lots and lots. Right, that's it for now. Until we see you next time, enjoy the roads, enjoy the skies, but most of all, enjoy your lives because life rocks when you live in room rolls. See you next time, take care, bye bye.